And so, in, in what way, in what way did this develop? Uh, how, how did this inherency originate for Gurdjieff? For, from chapter one uh, of Beelzebub's Tales to his grandson, the arousing of thought. This original personality of mine, already sniffed out by certain individuals from both choirs of the judgment seat above, whence objective justice proceeds, and also here on earth by as yet a very limited number of people, is based, as I have already said, on three specific data formed in me at different times during my preparatory age, the early life of Gurdjieff. The, the first of, of these three data, from the moment of its arising, became, as it were, the chief directing lever of my entire whole, while the other two became the vivifying sources for the nourishing and perfecting of the first. The first datum arose in me when I was still, as I said, a chubby mite. My dear, now-deceased grandmother was then still alive and was a hundred and some years old. Jeff's grandmother, she, over a hundred years. When my grandmother, uh, may she attain the kingdom of heaven, was dying, my mother, as was then the custom, took me to her bedside, and as I kissed her right hand, my dear grandmother placed her dying left hand on my head and said in a whisper, yet very distinctly, eldest of my grandsons, listen and always remember my strict injunction to you in life, never do as others do. Having said this, she gazed at the bridge of my nose and evidently noticing my perplexity and my obscure understanding of what she had said, added somewhat angrily and imperiously, either do nothing, just go to school, or do something, do something nobody else does.